Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This is your boy Tay, back at y'all again. As always, man, I'd like to show my gratitude for everybody clicking on this video. Make sure you hit that like button, and also make sure you hit that bell if you haven't subscribed already. I greatly appreciate you. So, you might have clicked on this video because you're wondering why you feel tired all the time. You know, no matter how much sleep you get, no matter what you do, you just feel tired and sleepy. So for this video, I have five reasons why you may feel that way. Make sure you stick through this video all the way through. We're going to tap in. One reason why you may feel tired, fatigued all the time is because you're going through a spiritual awakening. This is the number one symptom for a spiritual awakening is feeling tired, feeling drained, feeling sleepy. And the reason for that is because your brain is being rewired. Your nervous system is being rewired. You are literally transforming into a new being. You have neurological pathways being bridged together in your mind. You have DNA being activated. Okay, you are being updated. So you feel tired and fatigued because your body needs to go through this transformation. For my gamers, you know, it's no different than the server going through an update. The servers might be down because they have to patch things up fix some bugs, or just update the content, right? So you won't be able to play. If you play online, you're not going to be able to play for a few hours or maybe a day just because they have to go through that patch, that update. So your body's going through the same process. It's being patched. It's being updated. So you may feel like you need a lot more rest, and that's good. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Listen to your body. If your body says you need to rest, you need to rest. Let yourself go through this transformation. Don't try to fight it. This won't last forever. It'll have its moments in time where you're tired, you're sleepy, and then you'll have moments where you have high energy. But anytime you're, you're going through a DNA activation, you're being updated, you're gonna feel this way. Transition is always uncomfortable, all right? Understand when you go to sleep at night, that is, that is the time where your body is healing and repairing itself. Everything that you watched, everything that you heard, everything that you learned that day, what you ate, all that is being processed at night. It's being sorted out and being put in the right positions. All right. So when you wake up that next day, you are literally a new person. You're going through this spiritual awakening. Your body has a lot of things to sort out. There's a lot of new information that's hitting you. When you feel sleepy, it's like an alarm system. It's your body's way of letting you know that. There are some things that need to happen inside, within. Okay? You need to shut it down for a minute. Shut it down for, for a few hours so that you can get things sorted out. This is just one of those symptoms of a spiritual awakening. This goes into my second reason why you may feel tired all the time. is because of your diet. Now, remember, you're going through a spiritual awakening, so you just transform into a whole new being. So, the foods that you've been eating before, they're not going to serve you anymore. OK, like I said, you transform. So you no longer take gas anymore. You a Tesla now. You run off electricity. Your nervous system has been activated. All right. So that low vibrational energy is not going to give you the, the nutrients that you need to sustain yourself. You can't put gas in a Tesla. All right. We are electromagnetic beings. So we run off electromagnetic energy. Fruits vegetables foods that get its energy from the sun and the earth okay electromagnetic you eating processed foods and things that have no nutritional value have no electricity in it it's not going to do anything but weigh you down you're just going to feel full for the sake of feeling full they call those empty calories it's filling your stomach up but it's not giving you anything in return and this is why when you go through a spiritual awakening you have to switch up the foods that you eat as well this is why when you go through a spiritual awakening, you have to eat the foods that are going to assist your awakening. Assist this new body that you have. Electricity, lemons, mangoes, pineapples, things that have electricity, have energy in them. Spinach, kale, your greens, your chlorophyll. You can't go back to that old diet anymore. See, before your spiritual awakening, 
you could eat those foods, those processed foods and all the junk food, and it didn't harm you at all. You didn't feel your energy drop. That's because you were numb to it. The frequency that you was running on at that time matched the food that you was eating. When you go through a spiritual awakening, you're running on a higher vibration. So you need foods that match that vibration. Before, when you were asleep, you was in a sleep state, your vibration was a little lower. So it didn't require much energy to sustain your vibration. You get what I'm saying? So this is why your diet, you might be going through a spiritual awakening, but yet you're still eating the same old junk foods, the same old low vibrational foods. Yeah, it's weighing you down, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? So make sure that you are aware of this. When you're going through these changes, you got to be aware of what's going on in your body. Okay, listen to your body. You also got to know, too, that a lot of processed foods have microorganisms that are parasitic by nature. So you're feeding yourself all these processed foods and you're, you're allowing parasites to infiltrate your body. And they just leech off your energy as well. Okay, so keep this all in mind, man, when you choosing what to put in your body. Once you put something in your body, you are at the mercy of that object. All right, so make sure it's going to be in your best favor. The third reason why you might be feeling tired all the time is because you're in a toxic environment. See, when you were still asleep in a dormant state, Okay, you were numb to a lot of energies around you. You were just going through life on autopilot, so you didn't really know what was affecting you. You know, when things happened, you thought it was just life. Life was just happening. So you didn't really pay no attention to it. Now that you're awakened, you went through a spiritual awakening, your nervous system is active. So now you, are, you feel all the energies around you. You're more aware of your energy and what you're feeling when you walk into different environments. You might have been around toxic environments and now that you're awakened, you feel it, especially at the, at the workplace, at your job. The job is the most toxic place on earth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to cap y'all, man, because when you when you clock in, you already don't want to be there. Nobody wants to be at work. So everybody's already in a low vibrational state just off the rip. You know, when I had my job, man, as soon as I walk into the workplace, I would feel my energy just drop. And then notice, too, at your job, you might have been tired that whole day at work. But as soon as it's time to clock out, you got all this energy now. You know, you happy, you excited, but you was just tired a moment ago. That right there tells you that the energy at these workplaces is very toxic. Okay, everybody has negative thoughts at the workplace because they don't want to be there. So now all those thoughts are being passed between each and everybody at that workplace. And then you're wondering why, you know, Stacy got an attitude or Jake got an attitude. You know, Jake always being petty. Okay, it's the environment, man. But now you feel that energy twice as much now. And now that toxic environment is going to make you feel tired. It's going to make you feel irritable and you're not going to want to be there anymore. This is why a lot of people who go through a spiritual awakening, they end up working from home or they start their own business because you don't like being around people. You don't want to be in that toxic environment anymore. Take note of this, man. Even if you're still living at home, you might be going through a spiritual awakening, but you still live at home with your parents. Right. And now you might start feeling the toxic energy from your parents or your family members. This is real. You know, I'm not trying to knock anybody's family, but you know what I'm talking about. You're not on the same page. You're not on the same frequency anymore. So this is why you might see your parents, you know, start being petty with you or just everything they say to you is just to try to bring you down. All right. That's because your vibration is changing. You're changing. You're transforming. It's time for you to get your own spot. Get about that house. Right. You come first in this life. You come first before anybody. Your well-being comes first. So you got to make sure that you are in the right environment to become the best version of yourself. You feel me? And that goes into my fourth reason of why you feel tired all the time. It's toxic people. Remember, when you were still asleep, before your spiritual awakening, you had all these different energies that was attached to you. But you didn't realize it because you were just an autopilot. Right. Because when you go through a spiritual awakening, you don't realize that you had blockages, you had traumas, you had all types of red flags that you never took care of or that you never noticed. So now that you're more spiritually in tune with yourself 
and you feel energy a lot deeper, you feel all that blockage inside of you. You feel all the traumas and you have this urge to want to heal yourself. Okay? But people that still sleep, they still have all these traumas and things inside of them, but they don't know it. But you feel it off of them. You feel their traumas. That's why sometimes you might get around people and their demons come out. You pull their demons out because you see them for what they really are. They don't notice it because they're an autopilot. So all their traumas from childhood, all their blockages from just living a poor lifestyle, past relationships, you know, developing these bad habits, all of these things piled up together is creating their frequency. And then when you come around these people, you feel it. And it may not be intentional, so don't take it personal. They just don't know, right? This is why a lot of people who go through a spiritual awakening tend to be loners. You like to be alone because you know that the majority of the people in this world are still traumatized. They haven't healed themselves. They still have a lot of work to do. And you know when you get around these people, man, it's going to drain you out. They're going to leech off your energy. So you tend to like to be alone. That way you have control over your own frequency, your vibration, and your emotions. The majority of this world has a lot of work to do. You know, we all got work to do, but the difference is most people don't, don't even have awareness of that. They don't even know that they need to heal, that they have traumas. And this is what causes the separation, that split. So you'll notice, man, toxic people is going to make you tired. They're going to make you drained out. You know, you got to be very careful of who of the company that you keep. If you're not keeping the right company around you, then you're not serving yourself. You're doing yourself a disservice, right? Your circle gets smaller. As you get older and as you become more in tune with yourself, more aware of the world, your circle gets smaller. You only have a few real good friends. Make sure you're being very choosy of who you let in your circle, okay? Because it could be hurting you in the long run. And the fifth reason or why you might feel tired all the time is your phone, your TV, your laptop, your computer. Okay, all that blue light, you've been exposed to all those EMF waves. Okay, it's bearing down on your energy. We are electromagnetic beings, remember that. So you've been on your phone all the time, especially if you're looking at negative content, what do you think that's doing to your energy, your vibration? Okay, it's pulling your vibration down. All right, you've been an ele electromagnetic being and your phone having electromagnetic energy. You're just connecting to that energy. Okay, you're becoming in sync. Like your Wi-Fi syncs to your device. Same thing you're doing to the content, to your device. All right, this is why you got to limit your time on these devices, on watching TV. Try to get out in that sun. Go outside and do some grounding. Take your shoes off, barefoot. Okay, let that energize you. Because you've been in front of your phone all the time, your TV, that's taking energy away from you. Right? Feel me when I tell you this. This is why sometimes you be on your phone all the time and then you start to get the fatigue eyes. You start to get brain fog. You start to just feel real tired all of a sudden. You got to be careful, especially if you went through a spiritual awakening. All right? It's going to drain. It's going to pull your energy. It's also going to disrupt your sleep. Okay? Because all these blue waves... All this blue light that we're exposed to from our phones and laptops, it shuts down our melatonin. So now you're not going to sleep when you should. It's keeping you up. This is why a lot of people be up late at night. You watching TV on your phone and you wonder why you can't get good sleep. OK, remember, guys, you should be on a circadian rhythm. You wake up at a certain time and you go to bed at a certain time. At certain times of the day, serotonin. At certain times of the day, you have serotonin being released, okay? And then at certain times of the night, melatonin is being released. So you should be going to bed between 9 and 10 o'clock. That's the optimal time. When it gets dark outside, right, around that time, and the melatonin starts to activate, this is when your, your, your brain starts to recharge itself, all right? So from that time between 9 o'clock and 2 o'clock in the morning, your brain is on recharge, this is why it's important to get that sleep. This is why when you go to bed real late, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, even though you got eight hours of sleep, 
you're still tired. Why? Because you missed that recharge period. Okay, so it's very important that you get on your circadian rhythm. A lot of this technology that we use disrupts our circadian rhythm. Okay? Why do you think successful people, they always waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning? Right? 4 o'clock in the morning. Getting their day started. What you don't know is they're going to bed 8, 9 o'clock at night. Why? Because they know. They know that the electromagnetic frequency switches at night. And your brain goes on recharge. Okay, it's like putting your phone on the charger. That's what happens. This is why they're able to get up that, you know, so early. Because they're they're fully recharged. And they're on the frequency of the planet. All right, so you got to be aware of this and make sure that you're getting back on that. Limit your time on your phone. Don't be on your phone too late. I would say let there be an hour between the time you go to bed and the time you was on your phone or watching TV. Let an hour pass. So this is the five reasons why you might feel tired all the time. Okay, guys, I want you to understand that once you go through the spiritual awakening, you can't go back to your old life. You have evolved and transformed into a higher being. So you have to live the lifestyle that matches that. That's going to uphold this new form. All right. Make sure you guys, if you want to donate to the channel, man, I'll leave all my links in the description. If you need a consultation, I'll leave my links in the description as well. That being said, man, y'all have a beautiful day and I'm out. Peace.